This is the Maida Initiative. Conversation without compromise. Because what we're dealing here is deep cynicism on the part of of China. That um, they think we don't care. They think that the Uyghurs are so small, so unimportant that um, that they can get away with um, the the worst ethno religious rounding up of human beings since the Holocaust. So if we are serious about never again, and in early March, just before the, the coronavirus hit, I think it was March, March 6th, there was a major event at the, um, the US Holocaust Museum, which houses the premier Jewish human rights organization in the US. And they specifically said what's happening now with the Chinese government's incarcerating Uyghur citizens is a crime against humanity. So if we take our Jewish brothers and sisters seriously um, with the Holocaust in the background, then we need to, we essentially need to wake up as, as a people, as people of faith. I know many of your listeners um, are Christians and many of your listeners are Muslims as well. Um, and we hope that they'll, there will be a concerted pushback against the cynicism um, that says that we won't care. We just want cheap prices. We'll, you know, if it's a dollar cheaper, we'll, we don't care if the supply chain is, is tainted. No, no, we refuse to, to, um, to have that kind of attitude. As, as a people, as a nation, we are better than that. And so as more and more of us can get networked together, um, we can have an impact. So with that, right, we're talking about the kind of Christian response to this. What do you think are the barriers that are holding Christians back from engaging this on a wide scale? Right, right. Again, a, um, a good question. Many... Um, if we can talk about um, evangelicals, James, for just a, a minute. Yeah, let's evangelicals do that. have a, um, they have an aversion for uh, social diving into the public square. Um, and so this whole aversion of, um, say, not, not getting involved in issues that are, quote, um, political. Though the founder of our movement, um, Jesus, um, was a profoundly political person um, in terms of the socio-cultural era that he was in. Uh, so we have to get we have to get past this, and I and I think a lot of um, on the bright side, a lot of evangelicals are waking up in terms of anti-racism. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of Christians are waking up to the idea of um, that our black, brown, Asian um, brothers and sisters um, are suffering in in this country and and need um, need allies. And so, reaching out to especially the white evangelical church and and saying. Um, uh, do you care? Do you care? And a surprising number of us are saying, yes, we do. And there's, um, there's points of light that are happening all over this country of, um, of Christians waking up to um, our own nation's racial history, our own history of, um, of genocide, um, and then slavery. So. I think as, as, as that group of people as, uh, and waking up as uh, very specifically in terms of following Jesus 
and being faithful to the call of God um, on our lives. Um, and so as we move forward in obedience, we see that there are other issues that are um, in some ways sister issues. And so the, the whole issue of um, what's happening among the Uyghurs in Northwest China is an issue of, of racism. So it's a racist policy for the majority, 94% Han Chinese um, people. And, and remember, this is not a Han Chinese people thing. This is a communist party policy, um, but it is a racist policy. And so as we, um, back to your earlier question, as we wake up to the fact that, um, that we've had racism and racism is still an issue in our, our nation, um, let's, let's keep waking up to that reality. And again, back to storytelling, let's hear the stories of, of um, especially in the church, of black, brown, Asian, indigenous um, Christians. Let's hear their stories. What's it like for them? Um, and then as we hear these incredible stories, um, it, it builds solidarity and concerted action. So I think in this kind of moment in the church, right now there are things I'm encouraged about and things I'm concerned about as well. 